first up this morning, Chelsea Packard grew up singing and dancing in Wisconsin and went to Brookfield Central and then made it to NYC playing Elphaba, the Wicked Witch of the West, in the Broadway production of Wicked. Yes! <laughs> Somebody loves that show. How many times have you seen it? Only 41. 41. I was incorrect. I told her 43. And tonight, <laughs> you will have the rare opportunity to see her perform a one night only concert about the story of her life. And we're thrilled to have Chelsea here. She decided to stop by the morning blend just to chat with us this morning. Good morning, Chelsea. Hi. Hi, good morning, guys. Good Thanks morning. for being here. A local girl like you grows up in Brookfield, yeah. starts in a local play, and then moves to New York. And that's, that's the story of your life. Is that it is that the simple? Story. Uh, there are a few other things that happen in there. <laughs> Just a couple other steps. But it's but, so exciting that you did it. I mean, a local girl making good that way, it makes the rest of us feel like, you know, it could happen to us, too, mm -hmm. in a way. It's true. I mean, I, I got my start at the elementary school level playing a munchkin in the Wizard of Oz. I got asked up to the high school. It was wow. very exciting. It's <laughs> a big deal. Oh my gosh. It's hilarious. There were like maybe five or six of us that played munchkins in that in that production. But I feel like it has to be every woman's dream mm. to play Alphaba and Wicked. I mean, that is one of the greatest roles ever written for women. Mm -hmm. It truly is. I mean, it's one of the most challenging roles vocally. I mean, mm. the songs, she just does not stop singing and she doesn't leave the stage. I mean, she's running that show. So are you up to an Alphaba quiz? Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh, I won't even know these. It's, it, it's okay. It's just, I'll try, but okay. I don't think I can hang with I think you. She I even think you said can. you were going to teach her some things. It's a little call and response, Glinda Alphaba. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Which one are you? I'm I'm Glinda, Obviously. of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Even though you look like a Glinda. I know it's weird. What is this feeling? <laughs> so sudden and new. I felt the moment I laid eyes on you. My pulse is rushing. My face is flushing. My face is flushing. <laughs> My head is reeling. What is this feel? I'm scared, no. whatever. I, I'm sure I messed good. it up, but thank you. Oh, that I was had good. to. I, that's a dream of mine is to be able to sing oh. that. So thank you for realizing a dream. Oh, that's you're so, so great. welcome. What was the dream come true for you playing that yeah. role? Oh my gosh. I mean, when they started to paint me green, I was just like, this is absolutely unreal. I cannot believe this is happening. And also it was because I got kind of thrown on at the last moment. So it was like, I was like calling everyone I knew, like, this is happening. It's happening tonight. It's really going to happen. It's, wow. It's, it's Did you have family and friends come there for your first performance? Not for the first, because it was so last minute. Yeah. It was so last minute. But I did eventually have people that were able to come out and see it. But it just was, you know, <clears throat> flying up in the, at the end of Act One, she, she flies up in this, like, big levitator, and all the lights go out except this crazy spotlight on her mm -hmm. green face. And she's got, she's holding the broom, and she's like, yelling at every, all the citizens of Oz and telling everybody that she's going to like rise up. I mean, it's a pretty empowering moment. Mm -hmm. It's pretty crazy. And then, you know, there's really nothing like that when you, you finish singing and the audience just goes nuts. Like, it doesn't even matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you if you're wonderful, if you're not, like, it's just, it's such a thrilling It's an iconic moment. role, and you give everyone the chills. Will you be performing Defying Gravity tonight in your concert here in Milwaukee? Well, I don't want to exactly give it away, but yeah, yes, uh, but yes. <laughs> okay, so I'll and give it away. I'll, I'll be there. Just give it away. I will be there. Yeah, so this is a one night only concert. Yes, and you're doing tonight. you're doing actually two different genres. You're doing Broadway, you're doing jazz, and, jazz. and those are your two favorite genres to sing. Those are my jams. I'm singing from songs from shows and also song you know it's interesting because a lot of the old jazz standards actually came from shows back in the day. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the one in the same. Mm -hmm. But I like to do my own arrangements of jazz standards. So my own spin on old songs and then some of the newer songs that I've done from contemporary shows. I love it. You know, one thing I think, and you kind of brought this up a little bit to that effect, Ryan, is that a lot of people think, okay, great, you started here locally, you got so lucky. And they don't realize how much work and how much rejection goes into a life in entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, you've probably had a lot of no's. I mean, somebody like you who's risen up to some of the biggest roles on Broadway, you've probably still had some rejection. Do you talk about that in your show? Do you get very real with the audience? Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. You know, it's interesting. I had to audition for Wicked nine times before I got Wicked. Really? Um, yeah. I, got I love that. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. you kept coming back to audition. Oh, yeah. And look, I we're hearing obsessed. you. You were Elle Woods in Legally Blonde, mm -hmm. the musical. I was. Another dream role. Yeah. Absolutely. That was in Chicago, actually. That was a wonderful opportunity because that, so I actually understudied Alphaba, but this mm -hmm. time when I played Elle Woods, I, I played the role. So I got to mm -hmm. really get into it, do it every night. And I love that yeah. show. Yeah, so fun. So, so, so hysterical. Cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, she is kind of like, 
Glinda and Alphaba combined. Totally. Yeah. In that she's like the hysterical dumb blonde who gets to have the comedy moments, but then she also gets to belt her face off. Like, it's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know you were in Broadway's Promises, Promises with Sean Hayes and Kristen Chenoweth. I saw that show, so I'm sure I saw you in it. Did you um, also work with Kristen Chenoweth, though, on tour? Or? I you did. were her backup, too, I weren't was. you? I, that's true, yes. I. I met Kristen doing Promises, Promises, mm -hmm. and we became friends, and she, during the run of Promises, recorded a country album. And so after the tour, no, sorry, after the Broadway show of Promises, Promises closed, she was like, do you want to come on the road with me and be my backup singer? Uh, I would love to have you. You kind of sound just like her right there. <laughs> <laughs> she probably feels like you're like a kid's sister. I mean, you look similar. You know, it's hysterical. You know. I tower above her. I, I mean, I believe on it. stage is like, it's a joke. I mean, she is so small. But I have learned so much from her. Yeah. And I honestly, I mean, I owe her a lot. She's, she's taught me, and I'll talk about this in the show too a little mm -hmm. bit tonight, mm -hmm. but she's one of those people that just... She's like a saint in the business. It's so interesting. To, I found it very interesting, honestly, that she asked me to be her backup singer because most times a star will have somebody who looks totally different than them mm -hmm. backing them up. Like you'll it often see. Says a lot see, about her. Yeah, honestly, it does. To be like, okay, I'm going to take this this young blonde girl, and mm -hmm. she's going to be my one girl. There were two guys and one girl, so mm -hmm. it was like wow. this kind of like maxi version of Kristen right. and Kristen. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. It was just. It felt like a bold move to me and, and one that was that showed kindness and compassion too. I just yeah. I love her. I don't have enough wonderful things to say about her. I love Amazing. that. Yeah. When you're on the road, I've just gotta ask, because you've got this great little fit body, how do you oh. stay in shape on the road and traveling around? Because you're not always in oh New York. Goodness. And I, I just think it's it's hard for people who are eating out a lot and doing that. Is there any tip that you have in terms of just staying in shape and staying healthy Honestly, when you're traveling? Honestly, yes, and I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give my secret away, and it's Physique 57. I do it all the time. I have the Physique 57 DVD. It's a DVD? Uh-huh. Huh? It's a six DVD set. I'm obsessed. Yeah. You travel with this little ball that you put between your knees and you squeeze it. <laughs> yeah. And I, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna check it fantastic. out. fantastic. I love it. <laughs> okay, so people can check you out tonight. It's going on at 7 o'clock at Next Act Theater on South Water Street. It's $20. Remember, it's a one-night only show, so you have to go tonight, and it's the story of Chelsea's life. Again, nextact.org is where you can go to get those tickets. Ryan will be there. You can stop him, get a picture <laughs> with him, and then do a call and response with these two. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank being you here. Guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. It's amazing. Yeah, congrats. Mm -hmm. yeah.